Yeah. Like a die. Um, uh, seasick bag. Seasick bag, mm -hmm. yep. And chemical eye. Ah, uh, yeah, the um, glow sticks. Yeah. Flare. Mm -hmm. two, two each. Two uh, orange, two red. Flare, uh, eight way up, eight altogether. Eight. Uh, yeah, Yachting Australia, you have, um, you have parachute flares. Yeah, that's spike flare, yeah. Well, that's what a red there. hand flare. In here. Yeah. That's yep. what a water casement there. Yeah. That's for our app. So, so, so. You see, water catchment? Yeah, the water catchment. Yeah. Yeah. That's a rule to IWAP. Yeah. IWAP. Yeah. Yeah. IWAP. At the time. Egg. Now they've gone to the. All together, uh, eight flares. Yeah. Yeah. Four red parachutes. Mm -hmm. Two smoke. Yeah. Two parachutes. Yeah. All together, eight. Eight. Two yeah. red. Yeah. Two red. Four red. Four red. Four red. Four red. Two and smoke. Two, two parachutes. Two Four parachutes. That's it. No white. The no white. No. Pump. <laughs> the pump. Yeah. Foot pump. Yeah. Yeah. Torch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torch. Yeah. And water. Yeah. Water. Water. water yeah. Yeah. And some rations. Okay. So in many, accordance with the number of people. Yeah. yeah. How many days? If there's eight people in there, how many days worth of stuff do you, is there in there? As far as rations goes, it's always recommended that um, nobody eats. Or drinks for the first, for the first 24, 24 hours. Yeah. After that, it's um, I think it's 50 mils. Yeah, it's only about 10 or 50 mils yeah. per person, person per, per day. day. So uh, there's a, there's enough food rations and water rations. There's 500 uh, for AYF. It's 500 oh, yeah. grams yeah. of food and 500 grams of water. 500 mils of water per person. Yeah, of course, so, or one litre per person. So it's about 10 yeah. days. If yeah. 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 So, yeah, one of our, one yeah, of our abandoned ship procedures is to take the, long, take the jerry cans. Not too long, there. Yeah. A couple of hours will pick you up. Happy yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Hope not to have to use it at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've got instructions on the floor in there. Yes. So I can, should be able to read that. There's also yeah, an instruction in. leaflet inside the, the equipment, which gives you the immediate instructions of what things to do. And inside, yep. yeah. yeah. Okay, got that. You want to find it, Amy? Yeah. A lot of water moving in the water. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Signal. The signal. Uh, heliograph. So here he's got out the instructions and he's showing them to Amy. So if you have a listen to what the, this guy's saying to Amy at the same time as the other chap is showing the uh, heliograph. Standard signaling mirror and repair kit. Yep. Rescue aircraft or whatever. Okay, thank you. And uh, Signal. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Just, Just to remind us how to mind. signal for help should we happen yeah. to forget. That's all we can. So, what is that looking through? It's supposed to be looking through the door. Yeah, it's supposed to be the yep. doorway there yep. so you can sort of see inside yep. the outside. Okay. The Just a basic idea of things. Alright. And can I just have a look at the knife? Yep. Can we get that out? Yeah, sure. Because it should be a very short knife short with no point knife. on it. Yeah. And just a sharp edge yeah, in the so middle. Just enough to just to, to cut, cut away the, 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 the okay. operating line. Thank you. So that's the knife for cutting the uh, right. tether to the boat. Alright, any questions? I'll just go around and have a look at the water collection. Oh yeah, we should have a look at the bottom too. So it's got its... Um, that's buoyancy your, bags, or yeah, that's your water pockets. Yep. And that's your falling strap. Riding so if the strap. The raft is um, flipped. You use that to and yep. you basically pull her over like a like a dinghy. If you don't. Yeah. Do it, so um, okay. Yep. Stand on the cylinder yep. side of the raft, Up. so you've got that extra weight for the cylinder. And you've got the cylinder bashing you on the head. Yeah. So it comes over. over yeah. So Sarah, it says right opposite side because to read that it would be up the other way. 
all making sense. So you pull okay. like down this way. Yeah. So you'd be going. Yeah, she'd be on the other side yeah. where the gas bottle is. Climb up onto the bottom, grab hold of that rope, and lean backwards. Mm -hmm. Kneeling, I found, was the best. Yeah. Trying to drag it from in the water is hard. Trying to stand up on the thing is hard. Kneeling and leaning back seemed to give you the best compromise. Yeah, you get a bit yeah. more of a bit more leverage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's our water collection pocket and a little spot in there for the tube to run on the inside. So presumably when you're in the life raft you have to keep everything stowed away. There. In case you do the boat. Yes, it's mm -hmm. best to sort of keep everything mm -hmm. into that bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the... So what is, I know it's an eight there's the tube, raft, water tube over there with a stopper hanging off the end of the string. Very uncomfortable, yeah. but we could hold up to 12 feet, and that's with um, one of these tubes deflated as well. Okay. So yeah. they do have a lot of um, lifting capacity. Yeah. All right. How many would you need for it to be stable? Um, for an eight person, yeah. you probably want to have at least um, three to four people. Mm -hmm. If you've got one person in it, you're fine with it. It's probably a we find that people say so, or if there's more people just to keep it a bit more stable. But mm. with the water pockets, you won't have a, a tendency of the thing yeah. flipping over as much. And with our circular construction that we have, they do tend to ride the waves a lot better too, because you don't have any uh, corners to dig mm. into the wave. Yeah. So like that does help it sort of give it a lower turnover. And once okay. you've got the drogue deployed as well, that also helps it. Because I found the way, like I need the step to get in. Mm. I prefer the little landing thing, eh? Yeah. But the step, I was swimming up to it and getting my foot in it first, then grabbing hold of the straps. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you don't get enough launch mm. into the thing. And you young people should be able to get in anyway. It's you always good if you've got a, if you've got, especially if you're getting in and you've got a jacket on. Yeah. Is you actually just push yourself down a little bit, okay. and so the the jacket then. Bounces you'll, you'll you can pop you up so you can get a little bit of extra lift. And once you've got one person yeah. in, yeah. Yeah. it's just full quickly. Yeah. I find it's best to just get your arms under their shoulders yeah. Yeah. and you just lift them up, even if they come over the top of you, yeah. Yeah. and just pull them in that way. Yeah, so as Michael will discover on the weekend, they'll tell you to put the fittest person in first, so that's going to be you. <laughs> right, so you can drag the old guys in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.